Hi, I'm Michael, and today I will be demonstrating how to make orange danish rolls with frosting. The supplies needed for orange danish rolls are the rolls themselves, cooking oil, a plate, a spoon, a knife, oven mitts, spatula, and cookie sheets. First, preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which I have already done. If you are using a dark or non-stick pan, heat it to 375. After preheating, spray the oven or spray the cookie sheet with cooking oil. This has zero calories and zero trans fat, so it's kind of good for you. Spray the cooking oil on the cookie sheet like this. While they're preheating, open the Danish orange Danish rolls container by unwrapping the paper. Like so. There is also a little frosting container at the top, so be sure not to put that on the pan and bake it and make a mess. We will put that over here because we will use it later. Place them about two inches apart on the cookie sheet because when they're baked they will expand and they will stick together if they're not far enough apart. I'm using two cookie sheets because if you're going to place them two inches apart, not all eight will fit on one little pan. It should be fairly easy to separate them. Now, place them in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes, or in this case, I'm going to put them in for 8 just in case they bake a little bit faster, and you can always put them back in if they're not well done enough. Set the timer for 8 minutes. Now that the rolls are done baking, it's time to take them out and check them. First, check the top to be sure that they are golden brown. The tops look like they are. Now it's time to check the bottom. These look ready to frost. Take the table knife and scoop up about a level teaspoon because that should cover about one roll. You can spread it around a little bit, but since the rolls are pretty warm, it'll probably melt and cover the roll anyway.
I'm not frosting the last one because the cameraman does not like frosting on his orange Danish rolls. There will probably be some frosting left in this case there is. And you can go back with the extra frosting and put some on the rolls that you think might need a little bit more. And that's what I'll do right now. And there is still some left. So, now it's time to use the spoon. The proper technique for eating frosting out of the carton is place it in the corner, swoop down throughout the whole carton, and place it in your mouth. Now this next technique is called the scraping technique, for obvious reasons. Follow the same swooping pattern and place it in your mouth again. Now that the rolls are finished frosting, now it's time to eat them. I'm going to choose this one. These are really good. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching.